Hey everyone, it's Megan. I'm gonna get ready with you guys today. I'm going to do a bronze smoky eye look that is completely 100% inspired by a Charlotte Tilbury tutorial that I watched um, earlier this week and I'll link that down below. Um, I definitely don't take any credit for her brilliance, but I'm using different products because I don't have the Tom Ford Cognac Sable palette, but I'm going to use the MUA Undressed Me 2 palette, um, which you can also use your Naked 2 palette if you have that. So this will be good if you're looking for a warmer tone look to use with this palette because I know most people um, say that it's a very cool toned palette. Um, but I'm going to do a bronze smoky eye and I'm going to a concert tonight. I'm seeing One Republic and I'm so excited. So I'm going to do this makeup and then figure out what outfit I'm going to wear because I have no idea. But first I'm going to put on my Urban Decay Primer Potion. If you don't have really oily eyelids or if you don't notice your eyeshadow creasing throughout the day, you won't need to use this. But my eyeshadows never stay on, so I'm just going to apply a layer of this um, above or on my lids and below my lash line because since it's a smoky eye, colors are going to go both on top and bottom. So, we are going to prime the lids to make sure that the pigments that we put on top, the colors, don't go anywhere throughout the night because no one wants their makeup to disappear throughout the night or the day because you worked on it hard. So, that is just an optional step. I have to do it for myself, but most people probably don't have to. Um, for eyeliner, I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Kajal in brown. And I'm just going to get really, really close to my lash line and I'm going to go on my waterline below my lash line, just basically rim the whole eye. And I usually don't do this, so that's why I thought that would be fun to do like a get ready with me on it. So, like I said, I'm just going to put it on top and make sure to get it close to your lash line but also sort of have a not totally thick line but sort of a thick line and I'm going all the way in on my tight line and try to get in between your lashes and then also on the bottom waterline and on the lower lash line Okay, and then you can take any little smudgy sort of brush, let me find one. This is just a Sephora one, but I'm just going to sort of smudge it out. Because it just is making sure that it's really dark right at the base and right at the lashes. I'm going to sort of not really wing it out, but sort of apply a little more in the outer part. Okay. And then onto the other eye. It looks totally crazy, I know, but it will be super, super pretty at the end. And I posted, I like did a trial run of this on Monday after I watched the tutorial and I posted a picture of it on Instagram. So some of you probably saw it already. But it was funny because I did this really nice makeup and then I was just sitting at my house and then I ended up going on a walk at a park with my best friend and I probably looked really crazy. But oh well. So I'm going to go into the MUA Undress Me 2 palette and 
I'm going to take this color up here in this corner. And this is the same color as Snake Bite in the Naked 2 palette. And it's just a bronzy brown color. And don't get too much on your brush because we want a light dusting at first, but then um, we're going to build up the color. So just apply that and build it up to the intensity that you want. And I want a pretty dark look, but usually you'll know when you get there. You'll just be like, yeah, that's good enough. And I'm doing a pretty like rounded shape, but you can wing it out or whatever you want to do. I'm going to take a smaller brush, this is a Sephora Shadow number 26, and take Half Baked, well this is the um, MUA color, but it's like the color Half Baked, and it's just a gold. And I'm going to put this in my inner corner, a little small bit on the inner part of the lid. And I would have never done this if I wouldn't have watched Charlotte Tilbury's tutorial because I like never use warm colors on my eyes um, but I just thought it looked so beautiful that I had to try it and then on top of the lash line and okay wait actually I forgot <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take a, the smudge brush and take the um, snake bite color and go under my lower lash line and just put that all around that on top of the liner that we put down there and then I'm going to take a mixture of the snake bite and this black color which is the same as blackout and it doesn't have this palette doesn't have a darker brown so I'm just gonna mix those two um, with a very sparing amount of the black and just go over the upper um, lash line That's it for the eyeshadow. So it's pretty easy to do, um, I think. And then you can just take you can just take a tissue and oops. Okay, so that didn't work. Just take a tissue and some eye makeup remover. This is the um, Rimmel Gentle eye makeup remover, something that doesn't really leave a residue, and just go underneath and get rid of that fallout. That's why I didn't do my um, foundation first. I did my eyes first because smoky eyes basically always have tons of fallout. So just clean that up a little bit. So uh, for foundation, I'm just going to use a mixture of my Revlon um, Photo Ready BB Cream and the Wet n Wild Coverall, and they're both in light. And I don't really want a lot of SPF in my base because I'll probably be like taking pictures and stuff, so these don't really have a ton of sunscreen. So I'm just mixing them on the back of my hand and applying them with my fingers and I have used this um, mixture this week and um, I've been really really liking it because I first used it in my back to school tutorial and I just really have been liking it and it really holds up but I am gonna put on um, a setting powder probably just to control my 
shininess. But it does, it like stays all day, which is awesome. Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder in Four Seasons Light. And it's just a nice um, matte bronzer. I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush and put this at the back of my cheeks and up into my temples a little bit. It'll be by your side. To do my eyebrows with the Revlon Color Stay um, Brow Enhancer in light brown, and I am well, first. I have to put the spoolie through them, and I just go through the ends with this and make sure my arch is even on both sides. And I have really grown to like this, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. And I'm almost done with it. I'm so excited. So that's the first step. And then I use my L'Oreal Hip Duo in Shady and use the lighter side to go over the rest of my brow. And this makes it the color that I like. I want a highlight, so um, such hard decisions. Um, I'm going to use my MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmering Highlight and just take this on the Real Techniques blush brush and put this on my cheeks. And this will sort of bring a cooler tone into the look. And I'm going to do a little bit of a pink blush. Or actually, I'm going to use my Maybelline blush in Wild Blossom. This is like my favorite blush. And the e.l.f. Studio Blush Brush. And just put this slightly on the fronts of my cheeks. And then blend it out. Because I want a little bit of something, but nothing too much. Mascara, obviously I have to do. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black because it's my favorite and it gives the perfect lashes for any look but especially a really um, smoky look because it just makes your lashes stand out so much. So this is perfect for this look. up a little bit in the inner corner just so it's not super dark and then for lips I'm going to use MAC high tea because I think this looks really good with a darker eye look
And these smell so good. I love how MAC lipsticks smell. Um, and of course my hair is all wet because I just showered. But um, this is the final bronzy smoky eye inspired by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'll link that video down below because she is really incredible. Like, I like how this turned out, but the way that she does makeup is just phenomenal and cannot be really compared to any normal person like me. So um, I love this look. I'm really excited to wear it to the concert tonight and I hope you guys are all having a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye!